Finally, the most popular custom ROM of all time has released its official Android 8.1 Oreo build. Yep, the Lineage OS 15.1 is finally here and it brings all the latest features of Android Oreo. I had made a review video of this ROM in which I have shown all the features plus how the ROM is performing. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link for that in the description down below so do check out. Now, as of now, the Lineage OS 15.1 only supports bunch of devices which include Nexus 5X, Google 6P, Lyco La Pro 3, OnePlus 3, 3T, OnePlus 5 and 5T, Samsung Galaxy Tab S2, Xiaomi Mi 5, Mi 5S and Mi 5S Plus. So if you have one of these devices, then you can try the Lineage OS right now and more devices will be added soon. So now with that being said, let's start. Before we get started, if you guys will find this video useful, then do consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you get notified for our future videos. The prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now if you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre-installed TWRP recovery, then I'll be leaving the link of that videos in the description down below, so do check out. Now first we have to download two files. The Lineage OS 15.1 ROM zip file for your specific device and the gapps package. Now as usual, official Lineage OS build do not shift with super user binaries pre-installed. Instead, if you want to root your device then you can simply flash super su add-on file depending on your phone's SOC structure. Once all the files are downloaded, put them in the internal memory of your device. Once that is done, put your device into TWRP recovery mode and for that first switch off your device. Now, in order to boot into TWRP recovery, you have to use a special combination of hardware keys which usually include power button and volume rockers and it varies according to device manufacturer. So if you don't know your device combination to boot into recovery, then just google it. So after successfully booting up into TWRP recovery, the very first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM. Because in case you don't like the ROM or you want to go back to your previous ROM, then just go to the restore section and from here you can restore the previous ROM. It's as simple as that. So after backup is done, go back and click on wipe then advanced wipe. From here, select Dalvik system data cache and swipe this blue button to right. This will basically wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. Once that is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier and select it. Now click on add more zip and select the gapps package. Once both the files are selected, swipe this blue button to right in order to flash the ROM zip file. The installation will take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes so just relax. Once installation is done, reboot your device. The first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes which is quite normal. So wait till the boot is finished. Now, as you can see, we have successfully installed the Lineage OS 15.1. In my testing, I found that the ROM is quite stable. All the Android Oreo feature is working just fine and the overall performance is also very good. As for the battery, I was easily getting a full day backup without any problem. Even the fingerprint scanner is working like a charm. It's fast and responsive and every time I put my finger over the scanner, it unlocks my device with 100% accuracy. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you find this video useful, then do consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.